The team behind the MA250 see a world with super efficient, lightweight internal combustion powered vehicles. They believe that the internal combustion engine is a proven technology that deserves to be bettered. The team has spent years. Now their goal is to use their new engine technology to create a family of lighter, smaller, eco-friendly engines that will help to create a cleaner, better world. So what makes the MA250 better than a traditional internal combustion engine? Well, the four-stroke Avadi MA250 gas engine has been designed with the principle of minimalism and simplicity. Now in order to achieve this, they needed to reimagine everything about the traditional piston-driven internal combustion engine. The result, according to them, is a dynamically superior power unit. Now how does this engine work? Well, the engine is powered by a single piston design. The piston uses a pair of connecting rods rather than just one. As the piston goes up and down, the two rods move in a scissor-like fashion in opposite directions. Now each rod is connected to its own pinion gear, and each one of those pinion gears run on a fixed ring gear at the bottom of the crankcase. So, we have one piston running two rods, which then drives a set of gears that then run on a fixed ring gear. That fixed ring gear then spins your output shaft, which will then be connected to the final drive or charge unit, depending on the use case. Now that's all great, but how does the combustion take place in this engine? Well, their design eliminates the need for a traditional camshaft driven valve train. The engine rather utilizes the rotational movement with a moving head. At the top of the motor, there is a single opening that rotates and it acts as both the intake and the exhaust valve. Now with the moving head, I do wonder on the longevity of the seals. But I'm sure as they advance with the technology, they will release more info on everything and maybe put those worries to rest. Anyways, what makes this design better? Avadi's rotational motion improves torque. The ratio of the rotating gear set provides a reduction to the output shaft which exponentially increases torque. The same motion also rotates the fan blade for air cooling and provides the inherent balance effect which reduces vibration. So all this is well and good in theory, but how does this engine compare to the traditional engine of the same capacity? So Avadi's 250cc prototype weighs around 10.7 kilograms, which is ultra lightweight. I mean a 250cc Yamaha 4-stroke motor weighs around 24 kilograms without the carb and shifter. So just the motor, that's less than half the weight. Remember, the lighter the motor, the less power is needed to move the car, or motorcycle in this case. Anyways, talking about power, the 250cc prototype motor produces 16 horsepower and 30 Nm of torque. And yes, that does sound weak, but remember, it's only a 250cc engine, and it could be upscaled to a larger capacity, which would make more power. Now how does this compare to the 250cc traditional motor? Well the same Yamaha 250cc engine produces 39 horsepower and 28 Nm of torque. So the traditional motor produces more than double the power, but it weighs double as much, and it actually produces less torque than the Avadi motor. I feel like this tech could work, I mean they have only worked on it for 7 years, while the traditional internal combustion engine's technology is more than 100 years in the making. Now, where do they see this engine working? What is the applications? Well, they believe this thing can work in everything from aircrafts to boats, bikes, and even cars. And I actually feel like this is a viable technology if they get enough investments. But let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on like future technologies and different engine designs. So if you enjoyed it, I'm sure there's something else you'd like on my channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.